Hey everyone, we are back. We're gonna start off with a bit of grinding as well. Uh, nothing too crazy, probably just a level or two. We're gonna try and hit 25. This spot is really OP and we can even uh, safe spot it. Like, I literally gained an entire level in less than one second. Hopefully, uh, we don't we don't die. This spot is a bit dangerous though. But yeah, look at how OP this is. Look, look at my XP bar. That is insane. So, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna probably do this a bit longer. And yeah, then we're gonna knock out a few more quests out the way. But this spot is ridiculous, especially if you're like an archer class. Or a mage class where you can just teleport up to that tree. Like, you're, you're chilling. Like, this is insane. So yeah. Let's try and get level uh, 25 and then we should... Be good to uh ah uh, yeah oh man this is crazy yeah <laughs> this is what i meant by that this spot can be a bit overwhelming uh that's a long way back all right we'll just speed things up just get there very quickly <laughs> but yeah if you guys can uh kite all these spiders and get on top of the tree in time that is ridiculous xp especially in a double xp world with a total mark. let's try this out one more time I, I don't think we don't have double XP anymore, but nonetheless, we have a totem, so this is uh, still like insanely overpowered. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so yeah, that's. They have a decent chunk of spiders, like a huge uh, wave of us. Yeah, just look at that XP bar just going up, that's insane. <clears throat> this would definitely be easier if we had like the movement speed buff, but I still haven't unlocked that yet. Oh guys, I'm still sick by the way, I'm, I'm very sorry if my voice sounds a bit off. But nonetheless, thank you so much for your support and uh, watching my videos, I really appreciate it. Alright, so we pulled a few more. Are they coming? Yeah, there they are. Let me get back on the tree, or and I'll just, uh, just feel horribly. Nope, let me just... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it, it takes a bit of getting used to. Oh man, this isn't good. This isn't good. Yeah, this isn't good. This is not good. Alright, let me see. Can I get up? Can I get up? Can I get up? Ah! God damn, this is so annoying. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead. Yeah, this... Yeah. Alright, let's... Uh... Alright, let's try this one more time. Have the walk of shame all the way back again for the second time. If I die again, I swear to God, we only have eight soul points left. So, all right, let's try this uh, one more time. All right, let me put down another totem. All right, oh man, we're already a half up. This is looking good. Can we make it up on the tree? All right, there we go. Perfect. All right, I got it this time. Hopefully, the spiders will come now. And they are coming. Alright, we didn't pull that many this time, but we still have a few nonetheless. We're halfway to 25. But yeah, this spot is so OP. I think I'm gonna probably make a separate video just on this spot alone. That's how like ridiculous this is right here. Alrighty. Let's go pull some more. Once you're 25 guys, we'll go quest. This is... Uh... Oh man. Alright, anyway, so we're back. I just finished buying a new keyboard. Uh, fuck that grind spot. Let's go, uh, questing. So we're gonna be doing the creeper infiltration. And to start the quest, we're gonna be back at Ragni. And we will be making our way into the Pigman Ravine. Uh, I almost had like a heart attack earlier, <laughs> so uh, I was not gonna walk there again for a third time. Alright, let me yoink this chest, make our way through the ravine. Yeah, we're, we're kinda high level for this quest, so we should be able to just uh, breeze through this, no problem. And the good thing is we are 75% into level 25. I really hope I get my movement speed uh, ability soon. That'll make things so much more easier. Especially since we don't have a horse. And I do not want to go to the black... Uh, is it? No, the auction house. And, or the No, into the trademark. Yeah, I do not want to go into the trademark and buy a horse. Especially since we are archer. We don't really need a, a horse once we get our movement speed ability to be honest. Uh, 
already, so we are almost into the quest location. It's just right up ahead. And here we are. <clears throat> this is a nice little village. Is hidden in the ravine. Alright, let's talk to Thomas. Alright, so basically what's going on, uh, they are running low on food because the pigmen are overrunning the ravines and we're gonna be helping Thomas get some food. So we're gonna go into the cave uh, of the coordinates that he gave us and hopefully we can bring him back some food. So let's make our way there. Oh, you guys like this new mod I got, by the way, it's pretty cool. It's like better animations. I'm, I don't know, like, I don't know how I feel about it. It kind of looks weird looking at my character move so fluid compared to before, but I kind of like it. It's okay, it's alright. Oh, and I also got, like, a better particles mod, so there's that. Hope you guys enjoy. Just every now and then, I'm gonna keep adding uh, new mods just to make the playthrough or the gameplay just more pleasing to watch. Yoink! Alright, I overshot by a bit, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure we have to go up here, yeah. Alright, let's get Thomas's grain so his village doesn't starve to death. Oh, random pigmen. Well, this is where we really is for the pigmen. I wonder where they're all coming from. Oh, so we are at the top and apparently it's everything's on fire. I wonder why. Oh, is that a creeper? The mythical creature that everyone talks about in this village. And he's just gonna <laughs> blow us off the mountain. We somehow survived the fall. But yeah, let me see. Oh, and do not forget to take the creeper skin, guys. If not, you will have to redo this all over again. So once we have our creeper skin, we will be giving it on over to, uh, what's his name again? To Thomas. Yeah, I'm, I'm really bad with name, guys. I'm very sorry. I have, like, the memory of, like, a goldfish. So once we give him our, uh, creeper skin, he'll be like, oh, I've seen this, blah, 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 very long time ago, this and that. So he's going to send us out to kill the pigmen, uh boss i guess or warlord and we're gonna skin him alive uh, take his skin and we're gonna make a mask out of the pigmen warlord skin and we're gonna put it on her face and uh make friends with the creepers and yeah in, in a nutshell that's basically what we're gonna be doing we're gonna go kill our enemy and wear his skin on her face <laughs> all right so let's go and kill the warlord pigmen and we're gonna wear him and not be a social path at all. <laughs> so if you have wind tills, it's fairly easy. Just follow the, the waypoints if, so you don't get lost because the ravine can be a bit confusing at first. But uh, thank god for wind tills. Huge shout out to them guys. Well, I'm not sponsored or anything by them but they have just made my experience and gameplay just that much better on Minecraft. Let me see... Okay, so, uh, I think you can take either way, there's no specific route, to be honest. I think they both connect either way, so we'll just go this way. Hmm. But yeah, these pigmen are everywhere. I'm like trying so hard <laughs> not to cough right now, guys. I'm sorry. Alright, so we killed them. That was fairly easy. I think this is a level 17 quest. We're level 24, so we should be able to breeze through this, like I said. Uh, he should drop his skin somewhere. I don't see it. Ah, is that him again? No, that's just the regular pigment. Oh, there's his skin. Alright. So we have his hide. Oh, and he just spawned again, so he spawns fairly fast. 
to Nada, we skinned alive our opponents. We shall take his skin back to the village where they will make a mask out of my opponent's flesh that I can wear and uh, infiltrate the hidden creeper base. <laughs> so that's basically. I, I know this sounds a bit crazy, but that's basically what we're doing, guys. So uh, bear with me. Alright, let me just jump across. I love this ability. It's so satisfying to just like spin around and just dash across the map of it. Alright, so we are... <coughs> oh, guys, I'm very sorry for that. I apologize. I could not control that. So we're back in the village. Let's speak to Thomas. Let him know that we have the pigment hide. And he's going to be sending us off to a mask shop right down the road behind us. We're using the creeper skin and the pigment hide. Uh, the mask merchants will make a mask for us that we can wear. So now that we've disguised ourselves as a creeper, then we are going to find the secret creeper hideout that's hidden somewhere within the ravine. And apparently no one has seen creepers for hundreds of years. They are considered like mythical creatures in the land of Windcraft. So we're gonna be one of the very first people to discover them. Oh, these creep men are so creepy looking. Uh, let me see. Alright, so it's just right down the road. Is it in here? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, let me yoink this chest. Only four emeralds. Oh man, that's a lot of pigment. Alright, uh, yeah, I think we're back at the hideout from earlier. Yeah, that's where we are. And here is the cave we're supposed to be going into. Oh, another chest. Let me go and get real quick. Alright, so we're gonna just be doing a little bit of parkour. Let me just show off for you guys. Just do uh, some spins along the way. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't fall. Uh, so there's two paths that we can take. I'm not sure. We'll just take this one for now. Uh, okay, there's nothing over there. And what's this? We found our first uh, creeper friend. Hello, Mr. Creeper. He probably thinks we're a creeper as well since we have the mask somehow, but yeah. Well, so it's very nice to meet you, Mr. Creeper. And he's just gonna- oh! Uh, did he just kill himself? Uh, rip. Ah! Wait! <laughs> did it just close on me again? I was waiting too long outside. Ah, uh, hopefully there's another Creeper. Uh okay then, okay all right so apparently he's like uh, he has phoenix property so he can just keep blowing himself up over and over again guys don't worry he d he doesn't die uh death is just temporary for him all right do your thing uh my creeper buddy oh all right so we are inside the hidden creeper cave now and we have to collect some creeper powder for Thomas. I mean, he calls it powder, but I'm pretty sure it's just creeper poop that's laying on the floor from them just living here this entire time. So yeah, don't ask me why Thomas wants uh, creeper fecal matter, but we're just gonna do what he says. And then there's this guy in here too, so Garo who's been living here with the creeper studying them. But yeah, alright, let's now that we have our creeper poop, let's make our way back into the village and hand it over to Thomas. Where hopefully that will be the end of this quest. <clears throat> yeah, this quest uh, requires a lot of walking. Don't let me yoink this chest. Only two emeralds. These are probably the same chest I've been getting over and over again. But to be fair, I need to collect a total of 1,400 chests to join the Loot Runners Discord. So I might as well just pick up every and any chest I see. <laughs>
Alright, so we are back at the village. Let's make our way through the gates. And let's speak to Thomas. Let's hand Thomas over the creeper poop. And he says, for some reason, he smells it. <laughs> he says it smells like gunpowder. We'll just take his word for it. But yeah, he's like, yeah, this is definitely not native to this area here. So now he kind of believes us that creepers exist. So they're just gonna stay out of the creepers' way, let them live in peace, and yeah. <laughs> and there we have it, boys. And we are now level 25 as well. Awesome. So he gave us 64 emeralds and 1,400 XP. We'll see you guys next time where we will be doing deja vu. Peace.